After discussing total surface area and the lateral surface area of a cuboid, it's time to talk about the total surface area and the lateral surface area of a cube. Now we know that in the case of a cube, each face is squared shape. Each face is squared shape. This much we know. The front face, the back face, the top, the bottom, the right side face and the left side face. Each face is squared shape. Okay. Now, the total surface area of a cube will be equal to area of all the six faces. Area of all the six faces. Now, since each face is a squared shape and each face is identical, each face is congruent, it means that if we find the area of one face, if we find the area of one face and then if we multiply it with 6 by 6, that will get the total surface area. So the area of one face will be what? Area of one face will be A multiplied by A. Like if we take this front face, so this is A, this is A, the area of a square is given by A squared. A multiplied by A. So 6 times means 6 a squared. Therefore, the total surface area of a cube will be given by 6a squared, where a is the length of each side of a cube. Okay, so 6a squared is a total surface area. What about the lateral surface area? So, when we talk about the lateral surface area, we have to do one thing. Just forget about the top face and the bottom face. It means that you have to consider only four faces. Front face, back face, right side face and left side face. Okay. So the front face plus the back face plus the side, right side plus the left side face will be equal to 4a squared. Area of four faces will be equal to 4a squared. Why? The area of one face is a squared. Therefore, the area of four faces will be 4a squared. So therefore, the formula to calculate the lateral surface area is 4a squared, where a is the length of the side, each side of a square. Okay. Now imagine that we have been given two cubes and their length is same, that is a. And these two cubes are actually identical. They have the same size, shape and, you know, same volume and all. So, if we take this cube, if we take this cube and if we join it with the second cube, okay, now the second cube and the first cube are joined together. Now tell me, it was A here, now this is A, okay. So, what will be the total surface area in this case? You have joined together two cubes where A is the length of one side of each cube. Okay. So, in this case, we have to talk about the total surface area. Total surface area in this case. Now, some of you might say that, hey, you know, the total surface area of one cube is 6a squared. And the total surface area of the another one is also 6a squared. Therefore, this will be 12a squared. No, the answer is wrong. Why? Because you have to pay attention on this term, surface area, surface. So the front face, the this front face, then this right side face, and this left side face. The right side face of this cube and the left side face of this cube are now actually joined together. Therefore, they are not the part of the surface of this particular solid shape. Now, this is actually a cuboid. How? When you have joined them together, the length of this new object or solid is a plus a that is 2a. a plus a that is actually 2a. So from here, Till here, up to here, this length is actually 
A. The breadth is the same as uh, we had initially, and the height is also the same. Sorry, both will be A. Breadth is A and the height is A. That will not change, but this new shape has actually the length, which is has the new length, which is equal to 2A. Okay, so what will be the total surface area in this case? The total surface area in this case will be, so the total surface area in this case will be, this is the front face. So the front face and the back face are actually identical. They are the same. So the area of front face plus the area of back face will be equal to 2, y2, front plus back, both are same, so you'll get the 2. And what will be the area of front face? 2a multiplied by a. We are talking about this whole from here, this whole. So 2a multiplied by a, that is 2a squared, 2a squared. So this is equal to 4a squared, okay? Now the area of top surface plus area of the bottom surface will be equal to 2. Why 2? Because both the top surface face and the bottom face are actually identical. They The area will be the same. So when you calculate the total area of the top face, that will be equal to the area of the bottom face. So 2 multiplied by, what's the area? 2a from here up to here, this will be 2a and this is equal to, this side is equal to b. So 2a, multi, sorry, 2a multiplied by a. So 2a multiplied by a means what? 2a squared. So 2a squared, that is equal to 4a squared, okay? Now, what about the area of the right side face plus the area of left side face? So the area of right side face plus the area of left side face will be what? So this will be 2, why 2? Both uh, areas will be the same. 2 times, what will be the area of this face? A multiplied by A, because this is A and this is also A. So this is 2 multiplied by A squared. That is equal to 2A squared. So if you add these three together, you will get the total surface area. And that is equal to 10A squared. 10a squared right now there is one quicker way to tell the answer the total surface area of first cube is 6a squared okay the total surface area of the second cube is also 6a squared okay when we join them together we are actually losing two faces the right side face of this first cube and the left side face of this second cube we are losing two faces so simply, if we subtract one area, area of one face from this side and area of one face from this total surface area of the second cube, then you'll get the final total surface area because we are losing two, total, two areas of the right side face of the first cube and the left side face of the second cube. So from here you get 5a squared plus 5a squared, that is... 10a squared, right? Similarly, in this case, if we have to join three cubes together, so if you join three cubes together, Now tell me what will be the total surface area in this case this is a this is a and this is a so the new length will be what of this cuboid this is actually now what cuboid this is 3a the height will be same a and the breadth will also be the same a but now in this case the total surface area will not be will not be 6a squared plus 6a squared plus 6a squared. That is, it will not be equal to 18a squared. Why? Because we have learned here. So what will be the total surface area in this case? Okay. 
in the case of this first cube when you join this first cube with this second cube so the right side face we are losing the one area of this first cube that is a right side area face area of the right side face so subtract one area from here the area of the right side face okay in the case of second cube it's actually losing its two faces the left side face when it gets joined with the first cube and the right side face when it gets joined with uh, with the third cube it means that it's losing two faces therefore it will lose two areas of the left side face and of the right side face that is this will be minus 2a squared will subtract from six this one in the case of third cube it's losing only one face that is the left side face of this cube it means that this will be minus a squared so 5a squared plus 4a squared plus 5a squared you'll get 14a squared the total surface area in this case will be 14a squared remember when you join two or more than two cubes the new shape or the new object is now actually cuboid it's not a cube anymore and don't make the mistake of adding you know all the sur total surface areas and then give the final answer don't make that mistake you have to calculate total surface area either by you know this what we have discussed in detail this method or you can quickly calculate by you know what faces we are actually losing when we join the two or three or more than three cubes together.